my name's Rob Dunn. I'm one of the postdoctoral researchers at Rothamsted Research, uh, based at Northwick in Devon. The site at Northwick mainly does pastoral research. Um, part of the reason that we've got um, the silver pasture set up here is because we have a lot of grassland in this area. And it's a way of utilising this grassland in a slightly different way than is normally used. We definitely wanted to have all three of the designs. So the wood pasture, the shelter belt and the regular spaced rows and a control field to make sure that any changes that are coming about due to the design of the trees being planted within the fields is something that we could measure and something that we could control over the, the long term to make sure that um, the management is actually um, the best management for that type of design. But also, yeah, just to make sure that we do get um, replication of the different designs on our land to make sure that we understand which of the designs works best so that if we go to governments in the future and say this is the best design we've got something that we can back that up with in terms of data. With the history of soil science that Rothamsted has we were very capable of answering that, that soil carbon question and so we took on the, the, the role of, of managing the, the assessments. It's something that we, you know, we definitely need to get more information on because there has been a dearth of information available on the effects of tree planting on soil carbon within pasture systems. So we know that this is a long-term trial and so for the first five years we're not going to have any domestic livestock within the field just to make sure that the trees and the shrubs do get well established before those domestic livestock, which in this instance will be sheep, come back into the field. Um, we know also in the long term that some of the um, pasture productivity might tail away because of shading from the trees. So we're taking measurements both uh, east and west of the tree line just to see whether or not that shading over the years does start to affect productivity. And we know that the trees that we've planted aren't going to remain there forever. They will get thinned out by future generations of people that work at Northwick. Um, and that's just part of a silver pasture system. You don't, it's not a static system which is constant through time, it's a dynamic system which has to change in order to meet the requirements of the farming system. So I think that farmer-led research is important to Rothamsted because it basically gives us a, an understanding about the issues that farmers are finding on their own land whether it be flooding or um, effects on drought or invasive species on their, on their land, uh, the management of the animals that they have there. And I think the value of research institutes like Rothamsted to farmers is that we can really push the boat out in terms of how risky some of the things that we try on our land because we're not reliant on the land that we use for our experiments for an income. So we can, we can take risks which farmers wouldn't necessarily take on their own land with the fear that they might do something which makes the problems worse. We can do things on our land which farmers wouldn't necessarily want to do. But it might be that those management decisions that we take, which are risky, might actually work and cure some of the problems. So we've had a lot of interest in the, in the trial so far. And it's not just uh, other research groups, it's policymakers, it's individual farmers that have wanted to come and have a look to see what's going on. So we've shown a lot of different groups like the Forestry Commission or the Devon Hedge Group around the different planting that we have here, um, just to highlight how we found things. And it has, been, it has been very interesting to see how interested people are in planting of trees within pastures. I think it's because it was so restrictive in the past that if you planted trees within a farm system you were under threat of losing payments. People have, for a long time have wanted to be involved in planting trees and not being allowed to do it, whereas now they are allowed to do it. 